We've all been there. You're putting in long hours, diligently tracking every penny, yet your financial goals still feel miles away. It's frustrating, isn't it? You might feel like you're on a treadmill running fast but getting nowhere. The stress of managing bills, the constant worry about unexpected expenses and the never-ending cycle of budgeting can be overwhelming. What if I told you there's a more effective way to manage your money, one that requires less effort but yields greater results? Imagine a scenario where you feel in control, where your financial management is streamlined, and where you can actually see the progress you're making without the constant stress. It's not about magic, it's about strategy. It's about understanding the principles that can make a significant difference in your financial life. By adopting a strategic approach, you can transform the way you handle your finances. It's about working smarter, not harder, by harnessing the power of the 80-20 rule. This rule can be a game changer, allowing you to focus your efforts where they matter most. Imagine achieving 80% of your desired financial outcomes with just 20% of your effort. This isn't just a dream, it's a practical approach that can lead to real results. Sounds too good to be true? It's not. The 80-20 rule is a well-established principle that has been proven effective in various fields, including finance. The 80-20 rule, also known as the Pareto Principle, states that roughly 80% of effects come from 20% of causes. This means that a small number of high-impact activities can lead to the majority of your financial success. This principle, while observed across various fields, holds incredible potential when applied to your personal finances. By identifying the key activities that drive your financial success, you can focus your efforts more effectively. In the realm of finance, the 80-20 rule suggests that a small portion of your financial activities likely generates the majority of your results. This could include things like strategic investments, careful budgeting, or smart saving habits. This means that by identifying and focusing on these high-impact actions, you can optimize your financial efforts and achieve significant progress. You can start to see real improvements in your financial situation without feeling overwhelmed. Are you ready to break free from the cycle of endless financial to-dos and embrace a more efficient approach? It's time to take control and make your money work for you, rather than the other way around. Let's explore how the 80-20 rule can revolutionize the way you manage your money. By understanding and applying this principle, you can achieve more with less effort, reduce your financial stress, and move closer to your financial goals. It's time to work smarter, not harder, with your money. The beauty of the 80-20 rule lies in its simplicity. This principle, also known as the Pareto Principle, suggests that roughly 80% of effects come from 20% of causes. In finance, this means that a small number of actions or investments can lead to the majority of your financial success and its ability to reframe how we approach problems. By focusing on the most impactful areas, we can streamline our efforts and achieve better results with less stress. Rather than spreading ourselves thin trying to tackle every financial task with equal vigor, the 80-20 rule encourages us to identify the vital few actions that truly move the needle. This means prioritizing tasks that have the highest return on investment, whether it's in terms of time, money, or energy. It's about working smarter, not harder. By concentrating on the most important tasks, we can achieve more with less effort, freeing up time for other pursuits or simply to enjoy life. Think of it like this. Imagine you're a gardener tending to a large plot of land. You have a variety of plants, each requiring different levels of care and attention. You could spend hours each day watering every single plant equally. This approach, while thorough, is not necessarily efficient. Or you could focus your efforts on identifying the 20% of plants that yield 80% of the harvest. By doing so, you ensure that your most productive plants receive the care they need to thrive. By giving these key plants extra attention, you can maximize your yield while conserving time and resources. This targeted approach not only boosts productivity, but also reduces waste and effort. The same principle applies to your finances. By identifying the key areas that have the most significant impact on your financial health, you can focus your efforts where they matter most. Instead of obsessing over every dollar spent or every investment opportunity, the 80-20 rule encourages you to pinpoint the key areas where your efforts will have the most significant impact. This could involve focusing on high-yield investments, optimizing your budget, or automating your savings. This could mean focusing on a few high-yield investments, automating your savings, and ensuring that your money is working for you even when you're not actively managing it, or identifying and eliminating unnecessary expenses. 
By cutting out wasteful spending, you can free up resources to invest in areas that offer higher returns. By understanding and applying the 80-20 rule, you gain leverage. This leverage allows you to amplify your efforts and achieve greater results with less effort. You're no longer just working hard, you're working strategically, maximizing your output with every action you take. This strategic approach can lead to a more balanced and fulfilling life as you are able to achieve your financial goals without becoming overwhelmed. This shift in mindset can be incredibly empowering, freeing you from the overwhelm of traditional financial management and allowing you to focus on what truly matters. By adopting the 80-20 rule, you can take control of your finances, reduce stress, and create a more sustainable and enjoyable financial future. Now that you understand the power of the 80-20 rule, it's time to apply it to your own financial life. The first step is to identify your financial power players, the 20% of actions that are driving 80% of your results. This requires a bit of introspection and analysis, but the insights you gain will be well worth the effort. Start by gathering your financial statements. Look at your income, expenses, assets, and debts. Where is your money coming from? Where is it going? What are your biggest expenses? What are your most valuable assets? Once you have a clear picture of your current financial situation, start looking for patterns. Are there a few key sources of income that make up the bulk of your earnings? Are there a few significant expenses that are draining your bank account each month? Are there a few investments that are outperforming the rest? Don't be afraid to dig deep and ask yourself tough questions. The more honest you are with yourself, the more effective you'll be in identifying your financial power players. Remember, this is about understanding your unique financial situation so you can make informed decisions that align with your goals. Mastering your investments with the 80-20th rule. Investing is often perceived as a complex and daunting endeavor, but the 80-20th rule can simplify the process and help you make more strategic decisions. This principle, also known as the Pareto Principle, states that roughly 80% of effects come from 20% of causes. When applied to investing, it means that a small portion of your investments will likely generate the majority of your returns. The key is to remember that not all investments are created equal. Some will outperform others significantly, and understanding this can help you focus your efforts more effectively. Some investments, like certain stocks, bonds, or real estate holdings, have the potential to generate significant returns. These are often the investments that have strong fundamentals, good management, and a solid track record of performance. These high-performing investments can be the cornerstone of your portfolio, providing the substantial gains that drive your overall returns. On the other hand, some investments may yield more modest results. These might include more conservative options like certain bonds or dividend-paying stocks, which provide steady but less spectacular returns. The 80-20th rule suggests that a small portion of your investment portfolio is likely responsible for the majority of your returns. This means that identifying and nurturing these high-performing investments is crucial. These high-performing investments are your financial power players in the investment arena. They are the ones that can make a significant difference in your financial success. Your goal is to identify these star performers and consider allocating more resources to them. This doesn't mean abandoning other investments, but rather giving more attention to those that have the potential to drive your returns. This doesn't mean you should put all your eggs in one basket. Diversification is still a key strategy in managing risk and ensuring that your portfolio can withstand market fluctuations. Diversification is still crucial for managing risk. By spreading your investments across different asset classes and sectors, you can protect yourself against significant losses in any one area. However, by identifying and focusing on your most promising investments, you can potentially enhance your overall returns. This means regularly reviewing your portfolio and making adjustments as needed to ensure that you are capitalizing on the best opportunities. Remember, investing involves risk, and past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. It's important to stay informed and be prepared for the inherent uncertainties of the market. It's essential to conduct thorough research, consider your risk tolerance, and consult with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. A well-informed strategy can help you navigate the complexities of investing and make more confident choices. The 80-20th rule is a tool to help you prioritize and focus your efforts, but it's not a guarantee of success. Use it as a guideline to help you identify where to concentrate your resources 
but always remain vigilant and adaptable to changing market conditions. Streamlining your savings with laser focus. Saving money is often cited as a top financial goal, yet many people struggle to save consistently. The 80-20th rule can help you streamline your savings efforts and make the process more effective. Instead of trying to save on every single purchase, focus on identifying the 20% of expenses that are consuming the majority of your income. These could be large recurring expenses like rent or mortgage payments, car payments, or grocery bills. Once you've identified your biggest expenses, explore ways to reduce them. Could you negotiate a lower rent payment? Could you refinance your mortgage to secure a lower interest rate? Could you save money on groceries by meal planning and shopping with a list? By focusing your efforts on reducing these high-impact expenses, you can free up more money to put toward your savings goals. Remember, even small changes can make a big difference over time. The key is to be consistent and persistent in your efforts.